Welcome to ReFilm, El Casper is a gangster in Tapachula, Mexico. He decides to introduce a young boy, Benito, to his gang Mara Salvatrucha, and takes him to the gang leader Lil Mago. After examining his seriousness, by putting him into a fight with the gang members, Mago welcomes Benito into the gang, and nicknames him Smiley. Meanwhile in Honduras, a teenage girl Syra is visited by her father Horatio, who invites her to live with him in New Jersey, and she agrees to go. El Casper is involved with a girl named Martha Marlin, who is not aware of his real job, and often questions him about it, but he does not share any details with her. To keep her hidden from Mago and the other gang members, Casper always meets her secretly, and also asks Smiley to keep his relationship a secret. After visiting Martha, Casper takes Smiley to the gang's headquarters, and introduces him to different members. In the compound, Mago questions Casper about his recent disappearance, but he fails to satisfy him with his answers. Later, Mago shows them a captured rival gang member, and asks Smiley to shoot him as his first assignment. Casper helps Smiley in the execution, which makes him an official member of the gang. Seeing Smiley upset about his action, Mago calms him down, and tells him the feeling of regret will go away with time, but they must protect their territory. Mago then turns towards Casper, and accuses him of lying to him about his presence in Bambia, and warns him that these little actions might cause trouble for him, as he is making other members furious with him. Syra, along with her father Horseshoe and uncle Orlando, continues moving through the forests, while Horatio tells her a phone number, and advises her to reach his family on it if anything happens during their journey. After crossing Guatemala, the trio arrives in Mexico, from where they plan to sneak into a train to the US, along with other undocumented immigrants. After explaining the traveling route to her, he shows her a picture of his second wife Yesenia, and three daughters, while asking her to consider them as her family, but Syra, who is upset with him for abandoning her during her childhood, refuses to become his family member. On the other hand, during Casper's another meeting with Martha, she expresses her displeasure with him for hiding his true identity. As they argue with each other, Mago, who has just arrived, interrupts their conversation and asks Casper about her, but he introduces her as his friend. Martha once again gets upset with him for not telling Mago about their relationship, and angrily leaves, while he goes after her. Meanwhile, Syra and her family make it to the train with other immigrants, but are informed about a delay due to a derailing accident ahead. As the passengers wait for the next train, Casper's gang arranges a meeting at the cemetery. After discussing their usual activities, Mago accuses Casper of avoiding his responsibilities, and for lying to him about Martha. As the meeting concludes, Casper spots Martha waiting for him, and rushes to talk to her, while scolding her for showing up unannounced, as he thinks she should not have come across his gang. He later asks Mago's permission to go with her, but he declines his request, and offers her to come with him instead. Casper unwillingly watches them leave, before being beaten up by the gang members as punishment for lying to the leader. While showing her around, Mago learns about their relationship, and figures out she is the reason behind Casper's regular disappearances. He then tries to rape her, but accidentally kills her after her resistance. Upon returning back to Casper, he casually tells him about her death, and says he will soon find another girl. Mago then gives a gun to Smiley, while asking him and Casper to join him for an upcoming mission. After the train rides resume, the trio also boards the train with the other passengers, including Syra, Horatio, and Orlando. As soon as the train stops due to rain, they start robbing people of their money. Mago spots Syra among the passengers, and tries to assault her, which reminds Casper of Martha, and he kills him before pushing him off the train, and forcing Smiley to leave as well. Everyone on the train gets scared of Casper, and tries to maintain a safe distance from him. The next morning, two passengers plan to attack him, but Syra saves him by distracting them, and pretending to see the border patrol. Back in Mexico, as Smiley returns with the news about Mago's death, the gang's second-in-command, El Salo, accuses him of being Casper's accomplice. As he intends to punish him for betrayal, and threatens to banish him from the hood, Smiley asks his permission to go in search of Casper. El Salo hesitantly accepts his request, and gives him a gun, while ordering him to kill Casper to prove his loyalty to the gang, but threatens to kill him if he sides with him again. Although he sends him off, El Salo believes Smiley is not capable enough to find him, so they should inform their leaders in LA, so they can help them out. Continuing his journey on the train, Casper receives a message from El Salo, who threatens to kill him for his deceit. As he sits there clueless about his next move, Syra comes over and tries to talk to him, while offering him some food. He anxiously accepts the offer, and introduces himself to her with his original name Wiley. After spending another night on the train, 
they arrive in Veracruz, where Casper abandons his cell phone, knowing he is not going to use it again, as it might help them track him down. At the next stop, as everyone freshens up, Syra once again approaches Casper and asks about his destination. Before he can answer, she is called by her father, who scolds her for talking to a killer. Syra, who has a soft corner for him, thinks he is in trouble, so they should help him out, but angrily leaves as he does not agree with her. Back in Mexico, Smiley meets another gang, and introduces himself as a member of Mara Salvatrucha, and requests their assistance in finding Casper, to which they assure him of their support, and agree to help him out. Meanwhile, Casper and Syra start talking to each other. He shares his wish of traveling by plane someday, and tells her about a plane manufacturing factory in Texas, that he visited a few years ago. Syra reveals, a psychic once told her that she will get to the US with a devil, which she believes is Casper. As she believes the prediction, she is sure they will make it to their destination, and asks him to take her to the plane factory once they arrive in the US. She also invites him to stay with them, but Casper tells her it's not possible, as he is sure the gangs will find and punish him sooner or later. As he expresses his concerns, Smiley and his new accomplices start looking for him, and learn about his location, after a homeless guy confirms seeing him on the train. As the train approaches its next stop, Casper, who is well aware of the border police's protocols due to his smuggling activities, advises everyone to get off the train, and move around, until it starts out of the station again. His tactics prove to be useful, as it helps him spot the gangs looking for him. They also see him at the station, and start chasing him down, but he manages to hide and escape. After getting back on the train, he finally becomes friends with Cyrus' family, but decides to get off the train while they are still asleep. He starts walking around while thinking about his next destination, but soon learns Syrah has also left the train, and is following him now. He tries to get her back on the train, but it has already left. Casper gets worried about her, and says she should not have come after him, as he thinks other gangs might hurt her while finding him out, and he won't be able to take care of her. After finding no other way, he unwillingly takes her with him, and meets his local friend, and requests her help to cross the border. She agrees to keep them with her for a while, and invites them to have lunch with her. After sending Syra to freshen up, she asks Casper about her. He tells her that he is trying to help her cross the border, so she can be reunited with her family, but she does not believe him. She also reveals El Salo has already called her to ask about him, and she is sure they will reach out again. Casper trusts her and believes she won't snitch on him, but she tells him that she will do whatever she thinks is right. Back at the train, Cyrus' family finds out about her disappearance. Orlando thinks they should wait for her, but Horseshoe suggests continuing the journey, as they are not sure about her location. Meanwhile, Casper's friend hides them in her car, and takes them near the border, so they can board a car transport, but informs El Salo about them. In the car, Casper looks at Martha's videos while missing his time with her. He then asks Syrah, if she is afraid of the situation, but she expresses her confidence in him, thinking he can protect her. In response, he shows her his scars, which he got for performing different illegal activities for Mago, but he did not care about him at all, and killed the love of his life. Casper thinks his life is already a mess, but he does not want to drag Syrah with him, as his company might be dangerous for her. They successfully cross the checkpoint while hiding in the car, and get off just in time, before El Salo and the gang arrive there after getting the information from Casper's friend. Meanwhile, the train is raided by the border police. Horatio tries to run away, but gets killed after falling off the train, while Orlando is deported. On the other hand, Casper and Syra arrive at an immigrant camp, where Syra spots a passenger she met on the train, and asks about her family, but gets devastated to learn about her father's death. She runs to the chapel to cry for her father, where Casper accompanies her, and comforts her in her difficult time. After they leave the camp, he asks her to promise that she will make it to her family in New Jersey, because she has to take care of her little sisters, who are now without a father. She agrees with him, but gets worried about him, to which he assures her to come with her. They arrive at a river connecting the two borders, and plan to cross it to get to the US. Casper offers his camera as a payment to the guy who helps take them across. Upon his suggestion, Syra goes first, but Casper is attacked by El Salo and the gang. He tries to run away, but comes across Smiley, who shoots him without any hesitation. Syra, who is halfway through the river, tries to go back, but screams after seeing him getting killed, by Smiley and the rest of the members. After spending the night at the river bank, she resumes her journey, and eventually arrives in the United States. She calls her father's family, while Orlando tries to cross the border again, 
and Smiley is tattooed as an official member of the gang after proving his loyalty. Thank you for watching.